good Sunday morning to y'all. My church this morning is gonna be on the water, checking out their beauty, praising the Lord, and hopefully catching some fish. So we'll see you. Thank you for inviting me into your house on a beautiful morning. We got a little light north wind. We got a good tide. It starts dropping hard. It's at the top right now. It drops hard at about nine to 11. Got good fish on the chart. So just before full moon, getting close to a full moon. Should get on some fish. We'll see what happens. See you on the water. This drive anywhere from uh, Waveland on the two lane road, Beach Boulevard, all the way down to Gulfport is amazing drive. There's no buildings in the way. One of the few places you can see the beach the whole way. It's like riding a boat almost on your car. So if you hadn't done it and you're skipping, uh, you see on the interstate and you're skipping that drive, uh, and don't forget scenic drive in uh, Pass Christian, one of the most beautiful 25 mile per hour zones. It's about two miles long, but I mean, check this out. The beach is beautiful, guys. If you're not coming here and you're going to Orange Beach, you're missing out. I'm at Willie's and uh, they're out of Croker. So what I'm going to do is catch a few of these pogies. Hopefully I get some good sized pogies and we'll replace them with the Crokers and maybe get some big ones. We'll see. They got some pogies flipping right here. One cast right here by Willie's and I got some pretty size they might a little bit big but uh with the cast net so we're gonna see they're not gigantic pogies they're big enough to catch some trout we'll see it's loaded with them in here one cast i got all i needed my well's full so i'm excited to try pogies i feel like i'm back in grand isle man those pogies paid off i had the perfect size i had one of them that was perfect size and i got a monster trout on that i don't know if he's 20 or 25 he's big though look at him y'all what Trying to get y'all camera on him. You can see him in the water by myself, though. You know how it works. Oh, man, it's a pretty fish. Let me see if I can get him up a little bit higher right here. That's that's fun stuff. We're going after quality today with them pogies, man. All right, here's a good shot of him right here. He's coming up. Let's see what size that is. Big, that big one. Three pounds, three and a half. Pretty fish. I'll take it, baby. Thank you, first fish of the morning. Beautiful. That's the first fish of the morning. Was a 22 inch trout. So I'll release anything over 21. I don't need to meet that bad. Let's see. Make sure it's healthy. That's a female, too. If it's a male, I might keep it, but let's see if we can make sure she's healthy. Oh, you good? Do you take off whenever you're ready, baby? Mm. If you don't take off, you put it in a box. In the summertime like this, you can't handle them too much. You know, you got to take a picture and then release them because they they gone. With that water that that hot, you can't keep those pogies long though. Uh, they dying on me already, so I won't have a lot of opportunity. I'm trying to keep just a few in there. If you put too many in there, they all die. So if you get the pogies, you gotta. Almost have to have two. I do have two pumps, but one of them, you know, one of them not working. But that was a grand fish. We'll see if we can't get one more before we, uh, I got a few shrimp in there. We'll, we'll see what happens. But they got some feeding fish here. I'm watching along these rocks. All right, this is the eating size one right here. And I caught him on a big old pogey, guys. That's crazy, huh? Big old pogey. So pogey's working for me. How about that, huh? That's an eating size one. I'm gonna put him in the box. About a 19 inch fish. I caught that fish on this size pogey, so it's pretty big pogey. Just wanted to show y'all. That's about four inches, maybe a little longer. Don't ask me how them 18 inch trout can get a pogey, four inch pogey in his mouth. I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is if you wait long enough, they'll get it in there and get the hook in. So you gotta be real patient with fishing with big pogies like this when they get the bite. They'll kill it first and then they go down the goozle. So you gotta be real patient compared to a croaker, even more patient. I waited probably seven seconds on that fish. This was a big old pogey. He smashed it at the top. Uh oh, I got a little line, line caught in there, man. I had another line out like a goofball. 
I got a big, big trout on there. I don't. I mean, I don't know if it's a trout. I got a big fish. If it ain't a red, it's a personal best trout. Yeah, look at that. Well, my personal best, but that's a mongoose. Five or six pound fish right there. Another one. Look at that, guys. That's what the pogey produce, huh? You see that other line? They won't touch that shrimp. I got had another line out with a shrimp. It's tangled up. Let me get this giant right here and release it. Y'all see this? Look. Look at this fish. That's almost as big as Rick is. I'll measure it real quick just for the hell of it. So y'all believe me. It's 26 inches. So that's about five pounds, six pounds. Oh, we're gonna let her go. Let it go. We gone. Woo, man, them pokers are paying off, huh? Man, that's exciting stuff, huh? You know what's really crazy about it, y'all? That I put a big old shrimp on there. He got me some big shrimp at Willie because they didn't have the croaker. And they didn't touch that shrimp. I threw it all around where, and I put it in the rod holder and got hit two times before I landed that giant. Unbelievable. I've never fished it steady with pogies, but I said, that's what my target was today, just big fish. So we'll see if we can land another one, man. That's 26 inch fish. That's all day, six pounds. I've caught a bunch of them, so. Not as big as Roscoe's, but maybe another one coming. Look, I just put another pogey on, guys. As soon as it hit the water, this fish attacked it on the top. It came and hit the pogey. That's crazy. And that was a maybe a five-inch pogey. Oh. That's a male. He's scared. We're going to eat him. It's insane what's going on this morning. Right before the full moon, this stuff kind of stuff happens, you know? It don't happen every day. Oh, man. This is insanity. I was, what I was trying to tell y'all was uh, that... I'm using, I'm switched to the biggest hook I had in there. Make sure I don't miss a bite because there's a lot of meat on there. So you got to go, I got like a, I think I got a three out hook on there with these big pogies. I caught the other two and the two out, the big one, but I switched to a three out. So it's crazy, man. If I can keep these pogies alive, I'm not telling how many big ones I'm going to catch. Well, I had that little run there and all I got left is big pogies. So they like six inches. Take a 26 inch fish to eat them or no probably 22 but i had a little run there so we'll see what happens uh you got to be patient when you're doing this though real patient all right i made a move back to this spot what y'all call it whatever y'all call the spot but uh that's what i got a mac on a big old pogey huh look at that remember 20 30 years ago i fished here and i went with a guide and we caught all max and ate them and it was good well, if you didn't get him early this morning, for me, after that first little run of big fish, man, all I had was big bait other than shrimp. They don't want that damn shrimp. I don't really catch nothing on shrimp but trash. I uh, think I released two, a 22 and a 26. That's big trout, man. That's, I'm happy with that. But, uh, and I kept, I think I kept three, around 19 inches, 20 inches to eat. But, after that, it was like non-existent. So we got to get up early and look at that moon phase. The moon phase was about about eight o'clock till nine o'clock, somewhere in there. And that's when I caught those fish. So I try to follow that and, and fish hard during that moon phase. You can go to tidesforfishing.com and you just scroll down and it'll show you the, the tide and then where the little Thing, thing is shows a bunch of fish it'll show one fish or no fish or six fish or four fish on that chart so uh, i like to fish when it's four fish or six fish of course that means they uh, biologically they're gonna they're gonna eat at that time so we'll see you next time big fish baby big fish big trout